think it's going to be really cool. Cool. To simulate airflow around a baseball, they introduce streams of fluorescent dye. Oh, oh, oh. While it's still, the dye flows in a symmetrical pattern around the ball. Wow. Now imagine that ball has just been fired from Roger Clemens' fist. Oh, oh wow. Look how the, the aerodynamics change. As it spins, the airflow is disrupted. The air pressure on the ball's underside suddenly drops. And this ball now will have a force downwards as it's flying through the air. So this would be your classic curve ball. Lower air pressure on the bottom of the ball makes it dip during flight. And the principle's exactly the same for each different pitch. It is the axis of spin that determines what type of pitch it is. With a standard fastball, which is released with backspin, you get an upward lift force. With a slider, the axis of spin would be more or less vertical, and in which case, the ball would tend to go towards the left because of that. Then the curveball, tumbling. Spinning about the horizontal axis makes it go down. So our high-speed shots and NASA show that bendy baseball behavior is no myth. So what about the infamous rising fastball? Many hitters swear that some fastballs suddenly lift in midair as they hurtle towards the plate. Is that a myth? Now for it to rise, the lift force due to the spin would have to exceed the weight of the ball, right? That's mm -hmm. pretty simple. Sure. Now it turns out that for the type of conditions which we find in baseball, the maximum lift force is only equivalent to about half the weight of the ball. Not even a pitcher as prodigious as Roger.